The most difficult story for me to cover was um, that of the Haiti earthquake in 2010 um, because it was just so overwhelming. You know, and in a lot of cases, we go somewhere and we tell the story, but then we, we pull back at night. You know, you go to a nice restaurant, you have dinner, you have a glass of wine, you sleep at a decent hotel or whatever the case may be. It gives you a little bit of a buffer from all of that suffering. And we were there living in the same conditions that the people who were um, had just faced this earthquake were living in. Everything was destroyed. And it was, in a way, it was very fitting that we should be in those same circumstances because it helped us to understand the challenge a little bit. Our homes weren't destroyed, our families weren't killed, but it helped us understand a little bit of what the reality was. Um, and it was just, there was so much suffering and it was so overwhelming. I mean, I remember meeting a woman who was six months pregnant and she had to have her leg amputated. And she was lying on the floor of the hospital because it was too crowded. And she couldn't have any pain medicine because she was six months pregnant. And the level of pain that was on this woman's face, it was just, overwhelming. I couldn't imagine going through that. How do you come out of the other side of that? So, and that was everywhere. She was not isolated. It was, you know, it was, it was practically numbing. And that was really hard to, to cope with. It was really, really hard to deal with. And then you have a lot of guilt because then you get to go home and everything is just as you left it. Your family's there. Your bed is just as comfortable. You have the food that you've always loved. But you can't forget that the people you left behind are still suffering even though you're not there to see it. So it was, um, it, it was tough for me, but you, you try not to rest too much on how bad it was for you because as a witness, how bad can it really be? You know, it's always much worse for those who are going through it.